Hey folks, it's Joshua Bardwell here, and you're going to learn something today. I was just about to pull some black box logs off of this quad. This is the Diatone Marauder uh, 515, and it has an S uh, no, no SD card. It has a data flash chip, and as you may know, it takes for freaking ever to download this way. Well, in Betaflight 3.4, there's a new way. This is the first time I've done it, and I thought, well, as long as I'm going to do it, I'm going to show it to you. Um... That's it. You type MSC from the command line. I wasn't sure I remembered what the freaking command was. Now, look what we got here. We've got, whoa, what is this over in my computer? Betaflight onboard flash. That's right. It's your black box logs. And interestingly, it's your black box logs in separate. Oh, how about that? Normally, when you download the black box logs, they come down in a single file. With, with all the logs in it, but sometimes that's a little bit annoying uh, and you want individuals. Looks like you can do that now. So let me just grab these and if I hit control X, I bet they, oh yeah, they'll just, it'll delete. Well, yeah, I bet it will. So here, I'm gonna, let me just paste. Let's see how fast they come down. What? Uh, I bet it's because it's trying to delete them. Is that it? It can't delete them? Okay, that doesn't seem to have worked. Maybe copy paste would be better. Let me just try a copy instead of a, a, a move. Yeah, I tried to do a, yeah, this seems to be working. So I tried to do a cut and paste, which would delete them, but I bet you can't, this is read, this is probably read only. That's my guess because it's a data flash chip. Yeah, no, that, that totally worked. Now, let's see how long it takes to do the same thing if we do it from Betaflight Configurator. So I'm going to, real quick, I'm going to unplug and replug. And now we should be in normal mode. And let's save. Let's see how long it takes to save the same thing. And we'll compare. I'll need to go back to, to the video and compare and see if it's any faster. But whether it's faster or whether it's just more convenient, I don't know. I mean, in theory, you could use the... Oh, my gosh. Could you use this with a USB OTG adapter to pull files off your black box data flash chip onto your phone? Oh, that would be good. Do you normally... If you don't have the Betaflight configurator, you normally can't save files, save black box logs from a data flash chip onto a, onto a phone. Hmm, that could be good. Yeah, just get a USB OTG adapter. What is that? That is, um... A USB OTG adapter is a thing that basically lets your phone act as a USB host device. So you can plug, well, flight controllers, you can plug USB card readers into your, your phone. This is an Android only thing. Apple does not feel like it's okay to let you do this. Apple users, sorry about that. But um, you can use this and you can use this to, well, you could plug, you could put the, how would you put the, how would you put the flight controller into MSC mode? You'd need command line access to the flight controller to put it into MSC mode. And then you could copy the files off of it I think you can do that with Speedy B. Well, anyway, there you go. MSC mode lets your black box, whether that's, and this works, by the way, this is onboard flash, but this also works with an SD card. So if you've got an SD card and it's buried inside your quad and you don't want to take it apart to get at it, you can just leave the SD card in there. You can tape it up to keep yourself from losing it when you fly and crash, and you can use the MSC, MSC command to enter mass storage mode and access your black box log through any USB access. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Happy flying.